A Roman Catholic priest is behind bars, becoming a martyr in the Queen's House of Detention tonight. Father Louis Gigani is going to stay there for the next week at least. He's going in for a 10-day sentence. He might get sprung early for good behavior. Here's a report on a send-off party for him today. It was the Father Giganti they knew so well. Pressing the flesh, kissing members of the parish, there was music, song, and irony. It looked like a celebration, but it was a goodbye. Father Giganti was going to jail this morning. Speaking to reporters, he told why he refused to speak to a grand jury investigating known mobsters. Giganti had spoken to the subject of one investigation in prison, but he wouldn't discuss what was said in that discussion with the grand jury. Father Giganti says what members of his parish tell him are for him and God to know. The court called it contempt. The priest-penitent relationship is not only one within the confessional related to matters narrowly spiritual, because spiritual principles are integrally related to all the work that I do, be it in the church, in the circles of governmental power, or in the prisons. So, after the singing and the demonstrations, Father Louis Giganti disappeared into the maze of the criminal justice system for a 10-day term in jail. In a little more than a week, he'll be back at his Sprague's parish with his people, but he and church officials see this case as a landmark, one that they say they will continue to fight in the courts. John Miller, Channel 5 News. And federal officers arrested 20 alleged members of the Lucchese crime family on racketeering charges in New Jersey early this morning. Officials say their biggest catch was Michael, the fat kid Tachetta, the accused ringleader. Federal attorney Thomas Grealish says the Lucchese family Luke, is out of business. Good evening, everyone. We begin tonight with a breaking story. The son-in-law and nephew of John Gotti are both under arrest, apparently because of a parking ticket. A total of six people were arrested after a brawl in the Jamaica section of Queens. A cop was writing out a ticket to a tow truck that belonged to 33-year-old Carmine Agnello, Gotti's son-in-law. Agnello and the others allegedly assaulted the officer. Other officers raced to the scene. A total of three cops were treated for cuts and bruises. Arrested along with Agnello was Peter Gotti Jr., Gotti's nephew. Agnello was also arrested in February for allegedly ramming a police scooter that was ticketing cars. Alleged mob boss John Gotti Sr. is still serving a life sentence for his 1992 conviction on racketeering and murder charges.